I was told by a nationally recognized name related to this company <laughs> that you can't do that. We were told that you can't put an extension cable on it because there's voltage drop. Now, like a big no, 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 can't do this. Can't do this. It'll cause your spine to curl, your hair to fall out. The allies will lose the war. The girlfriend will leave you, take the dog and the pickup truck and the trailer. Bad things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am not an electrical engineer. I'm a, a knucklehead who does a YouTube channel and plays with computers a lot. But I'm like, voltage drop across something that's 5 or 15 feet? I mean, we're not talking a whole lot. And what the hell's the difference between your amp on a three foot cable or, or a 10 foot cable or, and again, I'm not an electrical engineer. This is not my background as electronics, but I kind of thought the voltage drop story, which was came from a nationally recognized personage related to this company, said that was the reason <laughs> there could not be, you couldn't use it because of voltage drop. And I thought, I feel. And when I got my FTM 500, Two years ago at Dayton, um, T.O. and I put it in the truck, and I, I don't want the radio body up on my dash. I just wanted the head up there where I had my FTM 400 head because the FTM base was the 400 was in the back. And the cable is, you know, designed to be that close and kind of useless. Why you have a separate head when you, you know. And I looked at the cable, and I said, this is just an 8-pin RJ45 straight through wire. <laughs> That's all this is. This is not some kind of special thing. T.O., we are away to the Home Depot. So we went to Home Depot. I bought a Cat 6 <laughs> Ethernet cable, put the 500 body in the back of my truck, slung the Ethernet cable under the floor, and ran it up to the head, and Bob's your uncle. The radio works fine. Bingo, bingo. I, I was told by a nationally recognized name related to this company... <laughs> That you can't do that. It has to be the regular cable. We've gotten reports of guys who do that, and it causes problems. Again, mm, bullshit. That cable from Home Depot that I overpaid for is still connected to the 500 two years later and still rocking my socks off.